Well, welcome to Wanger Feeds. We're a regional feed manufacturer in central Pennsylvania. We also uh, provide feed for customers in Maryland, New Jersey, Delaware, Virginia, West Virginia, and some into New York State. We make mostly animal feed for poultry and swine. The mill is designed to store corn for its usage throughout the week. Each one of the large silos holds approximately 138,000 bushels of corn. Much of our feed is brought in in rail cars or bulk feed uh, ingredient trucks and some of the ingredients are added in very small amounts and they arrive to us in usually a 50 pound bag. Every load of ingredients that we get we take a sample for our quality assurance testing. Our own employee gets on top of the truck and uses a brass probe to get a representative sample of the ingredients. He's now pouring it into a bushel weight and moisture device. Bushels are, uh, if you'll remember, an old bushel basket of apples or peaches or whatever. That's a unit of volume. Corn should weigh around 56 pounds per bushel. And that is an indication of the density or the nutrient quality of the corn. So it must meet our uh, density parameters. It also, this device measures moisture. We have an upper limit for moisture that we, we, we will not receive above. Corn grinding equipment is basically a set of what we call hammers. They're really just uh, rectangular pieces of metal. Those pieces of metal spin around very fast and they chop up the corn. The corn can only get out of a screen and a screen is a, a metal shield that has holes in it. It can only get out of there when it reaches a certain size. We're now in the control room of the feed mill and where we said the mixer is the heart of the feed mill, the control room is the brains of the feed mill and uh, everything in our process is controlled by computers. All the batches are printed and uh, those printed batch sheets are kept for one year so we can go back and if we have a particular feed order from a particular order number we can trace that entire uh, order back to specific uh, loads, specific days, and actually we can trace them back to the ingredients that we receive. So items that are added in very small amounts are added in two different places. One is called a micro system, where we can add about six or eight bags of one ingredient into a small hopper, and the computer can add that at one-tenth of a pound uh, increments. But the other area, some ingredients we don't like to put in an automated system. We want to be sure that we add those by hand. What the computer will do will show up on the screen that we want to add a certain item at a certain amount. So what will happen is the operator will weigh that item up on here, on this scale, but he'll then put it in a bucket so that he can work ahead a little bit. So this was already pre-weighed and this is the vitamin breeder that we saw up there. This is called a hand ad station. What we have in front of us here is the mixer of the mill. The mixer is what we consider to be the heart of a feed mill. If the mixer is not turning or not pumping then the body of the mill is not operating. This is a pellet mill. What we do with some of our feed that has the very finely ground corn in it is we'll mix it and we'll put it above the pellet mill. That's in a hopper up there. That feed will be come down through a series of augers and it'll go through a steam jacket. That steam jacket makes almost a mush out of the feed. That will come down and come down this tube right here. If we go over to a machine that's not running,
So the feed would come down, it would come out of here, and it would go in the center of the pellet mill. These are rollers that roll around and actually push the moist, hot feed through a die. This is a stainless steel die, and it's about this thick, and it just has holes drilled through it. Those holes are tapered to the outside, so as the rollers push the feed out through, the feed comes out through there in an ever-narrowing uh, hole, and the, the pressure and the friction and the heat form it into a pellet. Wenger Feeds operates a fleet of 47 trucks. Most of them are tractor-trailer trucks, which pulls a feed tank on the back. Each division that you can see on the, the feed truck that has a seam in it is a compartment. And that, is, that compartment is totally separate from all the other compartments on that truck. He's going to get a sample similar to how our receiving person uh, got a sample of our incoming ingredients. We now want to know what we're sending out of the mill. So he'll use the same kind of probe and he'll put it down in uh, one of the compartments and partially fill the sample bag that we have. He won't put the entire thing in there because that won't be representative of the whole load of feed. The truck is pulling out of the loadout bay, and you can see our uh, logo that we have on there for our ISO certified systems. We're going to be discussing that a little bit later. We do have a website for Wanger Feeds, www.wangerfeeds.com, and our uh, logo is registered. Our mission at Wanger's is to provide quality feed for quality food. All the processes that you saw at Wanger's uh, were controlled by our ISO certification system. We call it the Wanger system. Uh, it's a triple certification. Uh, the one is quality, which is 9001, that's ISO. The other one is environmental, which is 14001, that's also ISO. The third one, we call ISO, but it's really an OHSAS 18,001, and that's for health and safety. All of this we do so that we can provide quality feed for quality food. And we have a lot of products uh, from customers that you would probably know. We have many more customers than this, but um, we need to be sure that we're providing the highest quality of ingredients, the highest quality of procedures, and the highest quality of finished feed to go to that animal so that uh, at the end of the day when the food company gets that product they're going to be able to provide the best product for their customers which are uh, all of the consumers out there in the world.